Kyrie Irving, six-time All-Star, NBA champion of the Cleveland Cavaliers, formerly of the Boston Celtics, currently on the Brooklyn Nets. Now, DeMar DeRozan, I think he's still on the Spurs, uh, and Kevin Love, I think Kevin Love is still on the Cavs. They were praised for speaking out about the struggles of mental health. But what is going on with Kyrie Irving right now? So, um, I know he's had two major losses of family members in his life, very close to each other, um, during, you know, regular active NBA seasons. So, why is Kyrie Irving held to a different standard? Is it because he's not opening up directly about it? I don't know. Is it because he's being portrayed as a villain? There, like, from from my minimal understanding of psychology and psychiatry, there is something wrong mentally with Kyrie Irving. Now, whether he needs treatment for it or not is a different question. But in terms of looking at right now in the present time, present scenario, present season. So, a lot of times in with people who, you know, are famous and rich, obviously those things don't solve everything. They only help conceal things. They only help hide things. Because no amount of money can sometimes, no amount of money can sometimes pull someone out of a depression. I'm not saying Kyrie Irving's depressed. I'm saying it could be. Um, personally, Kyrie Irving does not display fits of mania. He doesn't explode on people or gamble away all his money in one night. Those stereotypes of being the up of mood disorders, uh, specific, specifically bipolar disorder. Um... That his highs don't appear to be highs for everyone else. They could be highs for him. And that's maybe he just doesn't accentuate it, express it in a way that fits the stereotype of a mood disorder. Now, losing interest in your platform that made you famous and rich that gave you the chance to influence fans and other people in your life, other people that you tried to help out. Because uh, Kyrie Irving recently bought um, the family of George Floyd. Um, is that his name? I don't know. But um, he recently bought that family a house. A house. And it was not... It was not very, um, there wasn't like a camera crew around, but it was publicized. Um, if you look at that interview that Kyrie has addressing some of the the issues with the Brooklyn Nets that he was having. Um, I shouldn't say issues with like teammates or anything, just his, his actual presence of being there playing. Um... It's not about it's not about him being egotistical or some mega star who just just doesn't want to play basketball anymore. It's about him being a person, a human being who deserves compassion. Now I'm not saying I agree with everything Kyrie Irving does or says for that matter. I mean like the whole flat earth thing. I mean, supposedly he was joking. Supposedly. I don't think he was joking though. But in all seriousness. 
why would you persecute him but praise Kevin Love and DeMar DeRozan? Because Kevin Love and DeMar DeRozan, they, they appear to be stable nowadays at least. You know, they're, they, they don't exactly enjoy being on the teams they're on. But there's, they're still coming to work every day or so. Now, Kyrie Irving needs help. A lot of this, I believe, personally, is a cry for help. And you also got to factor that he did lose his, um, his mentor, Kobe Bryant. May you rest in peace. And obviously that's going to affect you. I mean, I mean, like, all of this started around the time his father died. And then I think his grandfather died as well. Then, or before that, I'm not really sure of the order. And then, and eventually Kobe Bryant did pass away as well. So Kyrie Irving lost three close people in his life. In rapid succession. Um... Whatever was going on this, with the Celtics didn't didn't work out, and that's fine. Um, just because you're a superstar doesn't mean you're gonna mesh well with every team. So, I just I'm not saying. Well, yeah, I guess I'm saying that Kyrie Irving does, deserves a little bit of slack, because I mean. As fans, as as watchers, viewers, audience members of um, NBA basketball, at what point, where do you draw the line between personal life and professional life? Because obviously the two influence each other. But I'm just saying that it is not really cool how quick to judge we are about Kyrie Irving and his mental health versus the praise we gave Kevin Love and DeMar DeRozan. Now, is that because Love and DeRozan, is that because they sought help, expressed how they, I assume, were doing better mentally? Yet, is Kyrie a villain because... He, he, as far as we can tell, he doesn't seem to be getting help. Um, at least he came back to work. But there is, there is something under the surface here that, that no one else is seeing. And the only person that seems to know is Kyrie himself and possibly whoever is close to him. I mean... I, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, it's just it just doesn't seem fair. It it doesn't seem right that no one sees this as a cry for help. That may, maybe he doesn't want other people's help. Maybe that's what it comes down to. But if things keep going the way they're going. I mean, I'm glad he's back playing now, and like I think he played tonight. After all, um, that's great. But if things continue to spiral, there will not be a happy ending to this story. And I think someone needs to make it known that it is okay if Kyrie Irving seeks help. I mean, don't get me wrong; it's not okay. You're skipping work. You're violating a contract. That's, that's great that you're doing all these um, human rights and advocacy stuff. That's great. So why isn't he happy? If you have an explanation, please let me know. Because I've never really been a huge fan of his. I understand he has probably the best handle in the current NBA. But... I I just don't think he's being treated fairly. 
I don't think this situation is being handled properly, especially by uh, rookie coach Steve Nash, as well as the Brooklyn Nets organization. I mean, they appear to have given Kyrie a lot of leeway, but at the end of the day, this is a business. But the human decency would be to try to get him some help. And maybe they're doing that. Maybe there's a team psychologist or something. I have no idea. But I'm just saying this is a situation that should be handled delicately.